Welcome to this special launch event where we are extremely proud and excited to introduce to you to our latest innovation in metal additive manufacturing technology. My name is Niels Klutz, Managed Technology here at Additive Industries. For over a decade, we've been pushing boundaries. With a global installation base and over 1 million hours of operations, our machines have proven themselves to operate in the toughest, most demanding applications. This journey has led us to become the market leader for these demanding applications, for those who expect nothing less than excellence. And now it's ready for the next chapter. Based on our customer feedback, we have developed a new system based on the proven DNA of the MetalFab, ready to raise the bar once again. It is designed to propel productivity to the next level, to bring a new era of quality and to unlock more applications. This is the Additive Industries MetalFab 420K. The MetalFab 420K is an automated modular system that further unlocks demanding applications offering four times one kilowatt full field lasers, power and precision, increased productivity across the entire build platform, optimized gas flow for increased productivity and quality, a new system design enabling the use of the higher laser power by increasing the gas flow, variable beam diameter on demand, by changing the laser diameter to fit each application's need on a vector level has created opportunities for advanced material processing techniques. Automated and in-process calibration, ensuring laser positioning over the full build height. System enhancements for operations and serviceability. Designed with the user in mind and feedback gathered from our most demanding customers over the last 10 years. And now let's dive deeper. For this, I will give the word to the technology team who will explain in more detail. Hi, my name is Lisbeth and I'm the Senior Project Manager of the 420K Development Project within Additive Industries. We chose to include one kilowatt lasers in the system for a few reasons. One of them is that it gives you a, a bigger advantage in, in choosing your own process parameters. The other one is that it will improve the harder to process materials and of course it can enable higher layer thicknesses to improve the productivity. Of course we did do a lot of research, we tested with two materials. The first material is aluminium. We tried to create a high productivity parameter set with this material and we managed to achieve three times as high process productivity compared to G2. For this parameter we used 900 watt laser power. The other material we used is nickel alloy 718. With this material, as you probably know, it's a bit harder to process, but even then with a nice optical density well above 99.9%, .9%, we managed to increase the process productivity for two and a half times compared to G2. The next chapter is the optimized gas flow. When you use higher laser powers in the system, you will create a lot more spattering contamination. And of course, you want to get rid of this as soon as possible. To be able to do that, we improved the gas flow. Well, how did we do that? We started with CFD, so modeling and simulating. We designed new parts of the gas flow system and models it like shown on the picture to see where the gas flow is and how high the speeds are. In the end, we have a full prototype which we installed on the system and we could actually test and measure it. To test it, we have created an XYZ stage to measure the gas speed in every position in the build chamber to enable a full overview of the capabilities of the system. In the end, the design is able to have a 320 cubic meters per hour gas flow, which is more than a two times increase compared to the G2 system. Of course, you wonder if the gas flow is higher, what will happen with our powder beds? We managed to keep the gas flow well above the powder bed that the particle pickup speed is not met and the powder bed is not disturbed. When we are redesigning the whole gas system, we also took the opportunity to make the variance over the build plate better. So the gas flow has a velocity variance of less than 10% across the whole build plate. You can uh, have less quality difference in the prints over the build plate. Hi, I'm uh, Jeroen Karagat. I'm the system architect for the MetalFab 420K. The MetalFab 420K has a completely new scanner design. And the key improvement in this new design is focused on achieving higher optical stability and performance of the beam. Due to this improvement, we are now able to provide commanded spot size functionality. This functionality is achieved by measuring the spot size during the optical calibration process. 
during which the spot size is calibrated over the complete operating range of the focus actuator and the relation between the focus offset and the beam diameter is determined. In this way, the variation in spot size between scanners and also between different 420K machines is minimized. With the calibrated spot size functionality, the beam diameter can be set as a process parameter in the build processor. For each factor type used in the build processor, a different beam diameter can be set. The spot diameter can be commanded in a range from 100 micrometers up until 500 micrometers. Since the different spot sizes can be used for different build features, a more detailed trade-off between part quality and productivity can be explored while optimizing a print job, unlocking new possibilities. Currently, the commanded spot size is used in our own parameter sets to achieve high productivity for both aluminium and nickel alloy 718. Laser positioning over the full build height is essential to achieve the full potential of the four full field lasers in combination with dynamic laser assignment. We recognize the importance of laser calibration to our patented automated calibration procedures. The automation of calibrations is taken even further by introducing inline laser alignment technology. This technology activates a calibration during a build job, which measures and corrects the laser to laser alignment. This calibration ensures that the maximum laser to laser distance is maintained below 50 micrometers throughout the entire build. The frequency of calibration is triggered by deviation in machine conditions and a maximum calibration interval. The highest contributions to laser misalignment are changes in temperature and pressure in the process chamber or the scanner assembly. As such, those are used to determine when the laser alignment calibration is needed. The total cycle time of the calibration sequence will not exceed more than 60 seconds. This to limit the variations in thermal behavior between print layers. Presented here are results from an actual print. In the graph on the horizontal axis, the print time is plotted against the laser to laser alignment on the vertical axis. Here it can be clearly seen that in the beginning of the print, the frequency of the triggers is higher than during steady state printing. It can be seen that at the start of the print job, the triggers are mainly caused by temperature increases. When the temperature stabilizes, a few pressure triggers are executed. Finally, steady state is reached and the calibration is only triggered by the maximum allowed time interval. Finally, a jump in laser alignment can be seen at the end of the print, where the fill grade of the layers changes significantly. This change in fill grade causes the build chamber to cool down and in turn, this causes the calibration to be triggered. Effectively, the inline laser alignment calibration ensures that the dimensional accuracy is achieved throughout the complete print job. Hi, my name is Martijn and I'm a system engineer here at Additive Industries. I would like to tell you about some of our system announcements that we made to the Metafab 420K. To handle the increased gas flow and the higher laser power, we've completely redesigned the controls module and the process chamber. The cooling capacity has been increased for thermal management of the higher productivity. The system also includes larger filters to support the increased gas flow. This results in reduced maintenance intervals for the operator. Another improvement for the operator is the filter waste handling. The disposable waste bins can be replaced during a print without disturbing the print process. The disposable bins also reduce the operator contact to powder. There are separate waste bins for the process gas and the powder transport gas circuits. The filter cleaning happens automatically without interrupting the print. For optimal process quality, we have enhanced the oxygen and humidity control. Both process gas and powder transport gas systems have dedicated gas analyzers. These gas analyzers include accurate oxygen sensors for system safety and process quality. The gas analyzers also include a humidity sensor for optimal control of your powder quality. The design of the system is improved on serviceability and maintenance, resulting in easy access for the operator and service engineers. As part of the powder handling upgrades, the Metafab 420K comes with an integrated powder recovery system. This system minimizes powder loss during automated powder transport or extraction. Each process chamber is equipped with its own cyclone to keep materials separated in case of a multi-material system. Furthermore, the Metalfab 420K provides enhanced automated powder extraction for faster and more effective powder removal in inert conditions. The Metalfab 420K is compatible with the same modularity and automation as all our Metalfab systems. Your machine can be configured as desired and upgraded as your business skills. It allows for adding additional print chambers 
uh, for automated back-to-back -back production and printing with a variety of materials. My name is Jordan and I'm a senior process engineer here at Additive Industries. We have developed the Metal Fab 420K to enhance productivity, flexibility, and material performance for industrial scale manufacturing. This system builds on our established platforms featuring increased throughput and advanced capabilities. The system is fully compatible with our existing material portfolio, which includes aluminium, copper, nickel, iron and titanium alloys. Parameters developed on our earlier metal fab systems transfer directly, but with the 420K's open architecture and enhanced process features, we can optimize performance even further. When working with aluminium alloys, such as aluminium silicon 10 magnesium, we achieve casting comparable properties at a high throughput of over 550 cubic centimeters per hour using four lasers and 120 micron layer thickness. The increased design freedom offered by laser powder bed fusion combined with this level of productivity makes this technology a viable alternative to conventional casting for structural components. This capability is demonstrated by the manufacture of an electric vehicle motor housing whereby four parts were produced in approximately 19 hours. The ability to fabricate such large, geometrically complex components within a practical build time demonstrates the feasibility of applying this technology to critical automotive parts where light weighting, functional integration and productivity must be balanced with mechanical performance. In the case of nickel superalloys like nickel alloy 718, which are crucial for aerospace and space applications, the Metal Fab 420K allows for the production of large format parts while maintaining a balance between high productivity and part quality. Process stability is sustained through optimized gas flow management, which ensures effective spatter removal and consistent melt pool dynamics, even at elevated deposition rates. As a result, uniform mechanical properties can be achieved across the build volume supporting industrial adoption in sectors where reliability and reproducibility are paramount. The rocket turbine pump housing is a 150 kilogram component that incorporates both thick and thin walled features alongside demanding mechanical property requirements. At a build rate of approximately 328 cubic centimeters per hour, a resulting build time of 73 hours can be achieved. This build time was made possible through the use of our dynamic laser assignment software, which ensures precise multi-laser coordination and optimal energy distribution across the part. The Metal Fab 420K is not just about speed. It's about enabling industrial users to manufacture larger, more complex and more critical components with confidence. It offers the productivity gains customers need today with the flexibility to adapt processes as the applications evolve. The road to this launch has been nothing short of rigorous. We've carried out an extensive development and test program with many hours of validation across multiple systems. The final step was a six-month beta program carried out with a trusted partner and MetalFab user. That machine was shipped and installed on the production floor of a US space industry customer where it successfully produced many production parts. We will share more on this in the upcoming months. Now the MetalFab 420K joins our multi-product family alongside the MetalFab 300 Flex and MetalFab G2, expanding the possibilities for our customers. In addition to the baseline single core system, some common configurations are the dual core with multi-material printing and maximize uptime with automated back-to-back -back printing, and continuous production to run automated production of up to eight print jobs and build plates loaded and unloaded automatically by a robot. Thank you for joining us today for the launch of the MetaFab 420K. We are excited to see how this innovative system will transform your production processes and help you achieve new levels of productivity and quality. Stay tuned for more updates and demonstrations of the MetaFab 420K in action. Together, let's shape the future of additive manufacturing. Thank you.